I am a student of the miraculous and I'm a student of the power of God by the privilege of God's grace and with every sense of humility I live my life learning Jesus learning his ways and that includes learning the supernatural and any material I can find that can help guide my understanding to understand the realm of the spirit better and the operation of God's power I would plunge and throw myself into it I can tell you this please look up in my life and from my study of scripture and even observing people who have worked marvelously in the power of God there has always been two major ingredients as far as the administration of the power of God is concerned please listen carefully number one you have to believe that God is able as simple as it sounds you can remain forever and never see the outstretched arm of God if you do not believe the Bible demands faith for the supernatural to be released the Bible demands faith let me add responsible faith there is irresponsible faith the faith that allows God and says God you have to do everything but there is responsible Bible faith father you have said this I have found it so there's no need asking is it your will I have found it in your word if you find it in his word and by the witness of the spirit it is unwise to be asking if it is his will it's unwise to ask whether it's his will for you to be blessed it's unwise to ask whether it's his will for you to have peace it's unwise to ask whether it's his will for you to be healed it is unwise and even unscriptural to ask whether it is his will for you to live long i know the thoughts that i think towards you jeremiah 29 11 said the lord they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end are we together the word of God is the basis of God's commitment to the believer I have taught you this and it matters that you find it please look up many believers cannot tell you why they think God will meet their needs if I ask the average believer now, what is the basis of your confidence as to the fact that God is going to change this medical report? As wonderful as it is to say, oh, Joshua Selman is around. I know he's a powerful man of God. You are not wrong, but that is not the scriptural basis. Have you found it? He opened the book and he found where it was written concerning him. Hallelujah. If you stand to fight poverty, the devil has a right through that spirit to say, I will not leave. He has a right to ask you, by, on what basis should I leave this family? I am tired, it's not a wise answer. I hate poverty, it's not a wise answer. The word of God says, ah, I love the word of God. Now, when you bring what the word of God says, it, it brings an end to the discussion. Are we together now? Yes. Let them sing for joy. They that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, the Lord be magnified, which had pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. End of discussion. Okay. Is this why I should leave this family? I have lived here for 150 years, turning every great person into a pauper. Now you can say my case must be different and the basis is that this is what is written. I have found it. Now the ministry of the Holy Spirit is at work because the word of God has been revealed. I am tired. I think I don't like this. This is unfair. Life is not treating me right. Those things are emotionally consoling but in the realm of the spirit they wait up. They weigh absolutely nothing. The realm of the spirit does not respond to pain or tears or emotions or sympathy. Please listen carefully. The realm of the spirit does not respond to tears or pain or sympathy or emotions. It responds to the word of God. The word of God is the basis for action. I am the Lord that he led thee. Therefore, this growth, what are you looking for in my body? In the name of Jesus, you must go. You must leave. Are we together? Yes. 
Why do you believe that you will not be mediocre? That you will rise and God will honor you. Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 2. It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to do to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded this day that the Lord thy God will set thee high above all the nations of the earth listen this scripture will never come to pass in your life if you do not find it and believe it next verse verse 2 and all these blessings, the blessings are not few. All these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord. I may not come from a family with any advantage, you will say, but in the name of Jesus, I believe that I am blessed. I believe that I am blessed. This is not a Pentecostal charismatic jumping up and down. This is a, a scriptural protocol to commanding the attention of God. You're too big to agree with God, you will never receive anything from heaven. I believe God. I believe God. In the name of Jesus, a thousand shall fall by my side, ten thousand by my right side, none shall hurt me. With my eyes will I see and behold the reward of the wicked. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places, yea, I have a goodly heritage. Are we together now? That kings shall entreat my favor. I believe it. What does it mean to believe? To believe does not mean to merely agree. Uh -uh. To agree with God and meditate upon his promise until you find the participatory role that you have to play. Until you find your part in that faith equation, you are not believing properly. Most people will tell you, I am believing God. I am believing God to prosper me. And you tell them, okay, so what is the basis of your believing God? The word of God says, I will prosper. Wonderful. What else? That's it. God said it. I believe it. That settles it. Respectfully, that will not work that way. No. God said it. You believe it. You find out what he said you should do. To activate what he has said and then you obtain grace to do it consistently that is what settles it so if for instance I tell someone in the name of Jesus be healed and you are having maybe headache or whatever it is or a growth and I say do what you couldn't do before as an act of faith and you say listen I know this I'm already feeling the pain the pain it is is partial paralysis or stroke or something wrong with my back believe me even if it were Jesus Christ who stands here and is done with his preaching you will be surprised that we will share the grace and you will leave and nothing will change just because the power of God is present does not mean it will heal you the power of God is present to heal those who believe that God is able to heal them hallelujah is someone learning apostle my own is that I need a prophetic declaration over my life I feel like there's a close heaven over me now when the Word of God comes in the name of Jesus may your heavens be open you casually say amen and then you just laugh at yourself and the devil says thank God you know that nothing will happen and you guess right absolutely nothing will happen even if you fall under the anointing you will be surprised that you will stand up and nothing will change falling under the anointing is not the condition for reception believing the Word of God is those things are just effects of spiritual activities happening to you every one person who stands here to testify had to do the job of believing at a point Lord I believe you you will hear them say this some of them had dreams some of them had visions but they had to take responsibility to say I believe but thou O oh Lord art a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh Lord are a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Hear me? The day you actually believe that you will never be down in life,
that is the day you leave the ground forever the day you really believe it that it becomes spirit and life the day you believe that is not in your prophetic destiny to be poor I'm not talking of this canal I will be rich with a heart that does not love God. I'm talking about a heart that knows the role of poverty in destroying God's purposes and the role of prosperity in advancing the purposes of God. There is something about conviction. Look on us and he looked expecting to receive something in other words if peter and john dare walked away without a miracle that man would have responded to them and said i am lying down crippled but two of you are false prophets because i believe you the bible says he looked at them expecting to receive peter said silver and gold i do not have he said uh-huh i'm still listening what do you have and then he says such as i have you know, Peter's humility was very clear. He admitted that there were some things he did not have. Are we together? But he also acknowledged that there were some things that he had. I submit to you by the grace of God. We may not claim to have everything, but there are some things we have. As far as addressing your situation is tonight, there are some things by the grace of God that can put an end to that shame and reproach. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you read that scripture, the Bible says, he said in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. I know the Bible is written in summary. So you would think that in chapter 3 and verse 6, he just jumped up. No, he remained there. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Peter was surprised. John was surprised. The man was surprised. There was no miracle. Yet the power of God was still there. Yet the word of God was there. The same way it has happened since March. By God's de design. You were not supposed to be writing that prayer request again. But there is something you did not do in March. There's something you did not do in April. There's something you did not do in May. I pray you do it this night. Are we together? And the Bible says, give us verse 7, that he took him by the hand and lifted him up and immediately, when did his feet receive? What part of his body received? <laughs> that means every part of your body is a receiver depending on your action. It was not just his hand that received. His ankle bones received. Your head can receive. Your heart can receive. Are we together now? He lifted him. You would think the Bible says, and his hand. No. The power of God made contact. Or the, the, the apostle's hand made contact with his hand. But the miracle was not needed at the hand. His ankle bones received his finances received the situation that means i can speak over your life it does not matter through what entrance the power of god gets to you the most important thing is that it must go to the area that needs to receive strength receive life i can declare over your life in the name of jesus be blessed and for someone that word will go straight to your finances because that is the area that needs strength. For someone, that area, it will go and scatter an altar somewhere that will not let people rise. His ankle bones receive strength. And the Bible says, he leaping stood. Please give it to us. He leaping stood up. The man made efforts. The Bible does not tell us whether he still felt pain as at the time he was standing. But it's safe to assume that he still felt pain. But the Bible says the man leaped and stood and immediately he walked. The dynamics of Bible faith. It will always take faith to activate the supernatural. The supernatural does not just walk because God is able and God is powerful. You need faith. Hallelujah. For someone on hearing a prophetic word about increase, 
the spirit of god will speak to you go and register a company by tomorrow you may not have enough money for business but go and look for a lawyer register a company by faith when we say lay your hands it's not a ritual you lay your hands there i'm feeling this pain but in the name of jesus you are about to leave this breast lump you are a devil you must leave ignore the pain and believe in jesus you are looking at the things that are unseen and the power of god will come through the channel of your faith and all of a sudden you will hear testimonies testimonies just like a dream he said you have turned my morning to dancing this is the dynamics faith 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 in jesus christ you must believe you must believe and you must act pay attention to instructions when the anointing of the spirit is in a place because your miracle can be one instruction away shout jesus you just feel what is it about jesus i said it this morning under what kind of influence are we together imagine if joshua told them shout over jericho to healer that sound and they said listen we are not stupid people do you know what it means to go around seven times jericho was not like a small shop that you will go around going around in the hot sun seven times and he said with every energy you have shout let me tell you the truth you would be lying to imagine those people did not imagine themselves being stupid if at the fourth or fifth time the fence started cracking that will help your, your faith because you say wow the gate is opening uh, let's shout anybody will be motivated spiritual things look dead even to the last second now man go and bath seven times number four he came out i could imagine naman looking at the slave girl with anger i will kill elisha if after seven times i actually come out of this water you know what it means to be leprous and yet imagine a very dirty river number five he came out nothing number six he came out nothing and then he went at the seventh time the power that had always been there rested upon him as soon as he came out the bible says his skin was like that of a baby are we together how about elijah and the prophets of Baal? elijah said call upon Baal." And they called from morning till the time of the evening sacrifice and then Elijah put the altar Elijah put the altar together and then he called upon the Lord you thought that he would not doubt in his heart you are joking he was human God please show up and you thought you would hear a sound and then all of a sudden like it will happen to you now in the name of Jesus Christ seconds does it take a text to enter your phone that is how fast it takes the power of God to get to your life science has shown us how fast the power of God can be that I can send the text now and in a fraction of a second someone's phone will be beeping in the US in Europe if 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 technology can capture the realm of the spirit and make it so scientific can you imagine that i can send you a text and after 10 seconds if you've not received it i become impatient because it's not supposed to be that long how much more the power of god see some of you have waited too long you, you have not been angry enough that's why believe what i'm telling you you send an SMS to someone and after 10 seconds, it's not gone. You send it again. You send it again. After one minute, five minutes, as short as five minutes, you've lost patience because the accuracy should not allow for that kind of thing. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. 
listen I have taught you and I understand there is the law of process where God leads you gradually sequentially into your destiny but there are many things that are demonic and there are many situations that have not manifested because of the irresponsibility of the saints you are not yet tired of that situation to place a demand I want you to use this text example right now and say Lord a human being not even born again sent an SMS with a phone that was made scientifically and in a moment it got to me what makes you believe God cannot reach you when they called you this morning did your phone not ring out of them were you were you the only one being called many people were called but your line it was distinct to you there may be thousands of people here and following all over the world but I want you to assume you are the only one in this place that is the spirit of faith it's not being selfish Lord I thank God for my brothers and sisters but I came here for you give me an encounter your favor is real let it speak over my life I'm tired of this level the devil will give you excuses who knows you the devil will give you excuses are you not holding a medical report the doctor who treated you is he not a Christian I want you to stand by faith and believe you have to make up your mind I'm tired of this situation it must let me go in the name of Jesus tired of tears tired of shame tired of reproach hallelujah now listen so I told you there are two keys to experience